As we approach 48 hours since the collapse, rescue crews are now calling this a race against time. Tonight, a new look at operations and for the first time, an interview with the sister of the man trapped inside. That's breaking us. It's just breaking us slowly while time runs and he's not out, you know. We don't want to lose hope. That's it. We just, we're hoping he's here soon, you know. Baking under the Arizona sun. Heat does play a role. Rescue crews sweat through their gear as the family of 22-year-old Oswaldo Montoya. We know he's in there. Sweats out every minute. We just want him out. And we need people's prayers right now. Forklift operator at this third-party logistics warehouse, Montoya has a two-week-old child at home. We're waiting for him, you know. The family praying. This is a rescue operation until proven otherwise. Rescue crews drilling. And we're going to put listening devices down there and see if we can pick up any kind of sound. First responders of all kinds working their tails off. The humans toiling on 12-hour shifts and the eight search dogs rotating out every 10 minutes. We're not going to stop. We're not going to stop. Cautious of a potential secondary collapse. In these warehouses and these large commercial structures, the roof is what keeps the walls intact. The roof is gone. More than 40,000 pounds of concrete already removed from the pile. But at each sign of progress, a contradiction. Another layer shed, another minute off the clock. There's a lot of stuff that can be happening in there, and this just time is running. Time is running, and he's running out of time. <laughs> and this third-party logistics warehouse had thousands of pounds of materials and products sitting on shelves, most of which have toppled over. So as crews continue to clean up that debris, even when they get the concrete from the walls and roof out of there, there's still so much more material they have to sort through. In Phoenix, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.